Hey everyone, welcome to another unboxing and review. Today we have Melva from BBK008. Taking a quick look at the packaging, we see several images of the figure on the front and sides of the box. This is a 1.6 version of the gender swap Michael Myers, Kurobukiya Bushiro horror line. BBK has previously done a version of Edward Scissorhands and several other companies have done sets for Jason Voorhees and Freddy Krueger recently. The box comes in two trays. In the first, it contains the figure and the pumpkin. She's got a simple outfit, basically a jumpsuit, shirt, and boots. The second tray holds the rest of the accessories. The mask, three pairs of hands, the knife, and the base. Let's take a closer look at the accessories. Here's the mask painted white on one side of a soft plastic mold. You have your standard hands, trigger finger, this, and grabbing hands. Nothing too special. They painted a matte coat of flesh color so it's not as glossy as your usual hands. I'm not quite sure what the knife is made of, but it's fairly heavy, not plastic, could be metal. It's got a basic paint app here with a metal coating and a splash of blood. It's also got a beige colored base with an artificial turf applied. Here's a look at the pumpkin. It's made out of a hard plastic mold with no weathering whatsoever. Here's the figure straight out of the box. We'll take a more detailed look in just a bit. The hair is a bit frazzled and the head has a slightly more enemy look to reflect the source material. It's nicely painted and looks good but you can see that it's slightly more pale than the body they used. She wears a black shirt and a green coverall and you can see that there's blood painted all over it. The coveralls fit nicely and loose enough for unrestricted articulation. The boots here are also crafted nicely. They are made to fit over feet with laces. Here's a quick run through of the articulation. There really isn't any limitation with the combination of the body they used and the loose clothing. You can pretty much do a full range of motion and more if you wish.
Here are some final thoughts. It's a basic figure and considering it's a lower price point, it's a decent piece especially if you're looking for some kit batch material. The anime head is nice and looks accurate or even better than the statue it's based off of, but doesn't really fit my more realistic collection so I'll be swapping it out with another head, which is more suntan colored like the body. The body itself is great for articulation, simple, even though it's not a Fison, or even a higher end body with ratchet joints. I hope the video was helpful and thanks for watching.